Hey Zombie Slayers, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. One of the best things in Project Zomboid is that there is a crazy amount of mods that will definitely improve your gameplay experience. The bad news is that they don't automatically update in the system for you, and you'll often get error messages when you try to host or join a person's game. I did see an update last week that may automatically update it for you, but sometimes it'll still give you a vague message saying that a mod is out of date, but you won't know which one specifically. If you have many pages of mods, this can be a nightmare, but it doesn't have to be. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to fix this. First things first, I'll exit the game. You can technically do this through the Steam overlay, but I like to avoid any issues and just do it fresh. So from the Steam library, you're gonna select Workshop and it will bring you to a screen that looks like this. It'll say Spiffo's Workshop. It'll show you the most popular items. And basically on the right hand side, you're gonna look for your Steam avatar, specifically the word on the right that says your workshop files and your files. We are going to click on where it says your files, and then we're going to select subscribed items at the bottom. When you do that, it'll take you to a screen showing you obviously all of the items that you've subscribed to, and it's going to organize it through the uh, date that you subscribed. So the, mo the most recent will be on page one, whereas the, the oldest one that you've picked up will be on the last page. But what you want to do here is you want to click on, on the right hand side, go to the third box area where it says subscribed items and select date subscribed. Click on that drop down box and select date updated, the third option. When you do that, it will automatically refresh and it'll show you what has updated. On January 18th, there was Apocalypse Machines 2, containers and easy config chucked that were all updated on that day. So what we want to do is we want to click on the subscribed button to the right of the, the of your mod. And what will happen? So we're going to click on the Apocalypse Machines 2 option. And this is what it'll now look like. It'll say you are now unsub unsubscribed from Apocalypse Machines 2 wheels. So you don't want to go anywhere at this point. You actually want to re-click on that. The Apocalypse Machines 2 wheels will actually be, you'll be able to click on it. When you click on it, it will bring you to the screen that shows you the actual uh, mod and you can resubscribe to it. And you'll just repeat that process for the other mods that have been updated. So containers and easy config chucked. And uh, all you have to do at this point, uh, as soon as you resubscribe or subscribe to something, Steam will automatically re-download or download the mod for you. So all you have to do is open up the game and retry to host or retry to join. And it should work. So that was pretty easy. I hope it works for you. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Project Zomboid, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.